Some of you guys might be wondering where in the world have we been? And we've kind of wondered that for a while as well. Let's just say the C word for a week, an out of state conference for a week, and then trying to play catch up at work for a week. So I'm um, glad to be back and hopefully you guys will enjoy the videos that we have to come. Um, we are backlogged on getting Muscadine videos edited. So those will be up ASAP about Ruby Crisp, Noble, and Hall and also just recapping how our vines have done that we've planted this year so we'll be doing all that um amongst a lot of other things guys i uh, really do appreciate y'all watching and hopefully you enjoy today's video if you don't mind um don't forget to like this video and share it with some friends if you do enjoy it thanks guys hopefully hopefully you enjoy today's video dean family acres <laughs> All right, guys, the wind is absolutely vicious today, so we'll see how much we can actually get videoed. Um, if you'll notice right here, it's our red bud, and uh, it's coming down. I know it's not looked good for a while, but man, it has dropped a good bit throughout the day, and uh, the wind is just whipping along. Um, we've got this hosta doing really well right here, and the D-E-E-R have not messed with it. I'm not going to say it out loud because I don't want to jinx us. So what we're going to do is move some from this upper end, and we're just going to line rest of this area right here uh, and hopefully that will work well so as we try and get a few things squeezed in uh, as we mentioned before wide open absolutely wide open use your time wisely y'all it's almost shameful to show this um, a couple years ago this was absolutely cleaned out I don't know about y'all but we've got a couple areas that are neglected and honestly the side yard and the front yard have become it uh, at least right up by the house and we need to work on that so um, I think that might be one reason that the DER have not messed with these yet um, but it could be wrong but we're gonna move um, some of these around uh, they've really taken off uh, you can see these right in here so we're gonna move some of these and um, this is actually beautyberry here uh, which does really really well and then we've got a lot of other just absolutely horrible weeds and we have had thorns slash blackberries growing up everywhere and um, this is definitely not from our blackberries that we've planted All right guys, so it's been a little bit of time and I just wanna show you exactly how these ended up going because I did not film enough <laughs> earlier um, to be able to kind of recap and explain exactly what we we're gonna do. So basically what we did is we cleared out all of the weeds and grass from this area. Um, there's a good bit of shade that kind of comes across and definitely uh, in this corner is a lot of shade. So I'll kind of show you what we did over here as well. Um, but this area here does get some sun um, so that's why we kind of strategically placed this particular type of pasta um, on this location. And then depending on what we end up doing on the other side of our chimney, see your chimney there, um, depending on what we do on the other side, we might do more of these hostas. Um, but there's some debate in regards to if we decide we want to have a deck come out on this side. There used to be a deck out here before we owned the house and there was an above ground pool and a couple other things you can actually still kind of see a slight uh outline i don't know how to point maybe about right there um of the pool and exactly where that was anyway enough of me talking let me show you exactly how these hostas turned out all right guys so we were kind of strategic in regards to which hostas we put where and i think for the most part we did okay um if you'll notice these uh, actually are a lot more sun um, prone to getting burnt and you can kind of see that just in 
some damage uh, there, but they, they come back really, really well. Um, but they definitely like more shade um, than this style. These have done very, very well. They actually all bloomed this year, which is absolutely incredible. And then the one here on the corner is the one that was there before. You can see how much more it has grown as well as the, uh, there's a little bit of grass in there, but for the most part, um, our newspaper and our uh, pine straw that we get out of the woods over there has done extremely well. So now let's talk about over this way. Um, you can see a drastic difference just in the shade. And I do need to do something else kind of back here in the corner. Um, we had a bad problem with drainage and uh, you can see this area juts out from the back side of the house and that's actually a crawl space whereas everything else is a basement um, right here so we're having issues with water running down hitting here basically going under that crawl space and going and hitting the wall and that's how our basement flooded that one time so um, i say flooded we had a lot of water in the basement i, I wouldn't necessarily say that you know, we had like major damage or anything like that, but essentially we had water come in and it was going down the drain. So um, that's why we've kind of piled that up. You can see there is definitely an elevation difference now and that has solved a majority of those issues. Um, we've got a couple other projects we're gonna be doing and those will be um, modifying the height of the soil. And that is why I have not necessarily done a whole lot here. Um, you can tell that the grass has grown up a little bit there, but. That is uh, one of the reasons I haven't done, completely finished this bed. All right guys, so this bed uh, here has done absolutely incredible. This azalea, um, all I did was plant it in some peat moss and some pine bark soil conditioner, and it has just gone gangbusters. I have fertilized it twice with some holly tone, um, which does have the elemental sulfur in it and does help with your pH. Um, you can definitely see where that <laughs> holly tone has been right around the plant here um, because it the moss does not like it so you can definitely tell that um, but i actually got this um, as just a, a, a rooted piece that was um, coming off of one of my grandmother's um, azaleas if you hadn't watched that video where i transplanted a bunch of azaleas um, from her place uh, definitely check that video out right here um, it's a special time, special moment, just because she and I both share a lot of love for um, landscaping and those kinds of things. And I was able to actually get some of the azaleas from her property before um, basically all the landscaping was ruined. So, um, but as you can see, it has done absolutely excellent. So that azalea has probably grown at least a foot um, in multiple different areas in the last year or so since we planted it back here. It was a very, very small piece and it just really likes it. This is, uh, it does get a little bit of morning um, sun as it kind of comes across, but honestly not a lot. And this is just a perfect location. The D-E-E-R, don't mess with it either. Um, and then the other hostas that are back here, I'll kind of turn the camera around here in just a second, but the other hostas um, that are here, um, I didn't amend the soil very well. And um, I think just because of the drip edge of this roof, uh, that's why they haven't grown nearly as much as these others because they definitely do prefer the shade, um, but they're growing in almost completely clay and uh, we will definitely be amending this soil so that they can do much better. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the video for today. Uh, again, apologize for us not having anything out in the last couple of weeks, but it has been a little bit crazy, and um, we are in the process of trying to update a bunch or actually edit a bunch of the Muscadine videos. And um, I also want to recap a couple uh, things about the blackberries. And then um, this fall slash winter, um, we're definitely going to be working on expanding the blueberries again. Um, those have done well with minimal upkeep and effort. So um, I'll be working on that. Um, I'd love to hear exactly what you guys are working on and looking forward to just kind of um, continuing to grow and expand what we have here. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Thank you all for your support and uh, just for being willing and able to share our videos with other folks just so that we can continue to grow um, this Grow Your Own idea um insert homesteading at whatever level 
you are interested in and also making sure you're keeping it local and making it about helping others, not just putting money in your pocket. Thanks so much, guys. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Don't forget. That's right. After you subscribe, ring that bell like Mike Tyson did in the 1980s. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Oh.